Hey, good morning. It's Michael Lipinski again. All right, so um, I was able to splice in, um, to fusion splice in a power conditioner into the circuit, and it has uh, begun to return a reciprocating effect. And the oscilloscope reports that there's less volatility in the circuit, and uh, it, it appears that I got a, a, three, a negative 3 dB gain which should be sufficient until uh, the EB5 investors uh, start showing uh, an, EB, uh, an EBITDA positive return. Uh, in the interim, if you don't mind, please uh, stay at the head end um, and you two can stay at the knock in the interim. I uh, was able to attain that with 500 milligrams of Divo Prox and a two milligrams of Risperdone, and 20 milligrams of uh, Adderall. So, so far so good. There's a, a, a lot less volatility in the circuit. So in the interim, like I said, if you don't mind, please use to stay at the head end and um, tell your uh, other two partners to uh, maybe head over to the knock and like I said in the interim I'm going to be in the satellite office so we are at chapter 18 documenting your design we're going to be starting with the uh, chapter 18 sample building start or the metric equivalent model from the book's companion website and it, this is a very very interesting chapter because it starts right off with calculating space using room objects and this transition into the MEP aspect of this uh, is uh, going to begin soon because we're almost done with the uh, architectural text uh, I can't believe we made it this far right I'm, uh, I'm a little proud of myself I have to say I pat myself on the back a little bit not as proud as uh, some other folks that uh, this wire is intended to reach, but I didn't do it without help. I didn't do it without help. And I can, I can go on and on and on, and, and I have a list of folks that I can thank for, for this uh, particular circuit attenuation. So, in the interim, I will try to focus on the logic gates. I would suggest you two Focus uh, your efforts on those logic gates as well. We'll pick this back up in a bit.